What's up, everybody? Uh, welcome to WFSO Aftermath. Um, probably right now it's 10 o'clock. <laughs> so um, what we're probably going to talk about today is like the results of Turning Point and also the results of Survivor Series. So I'm going to show you all the results. Um, check out WrestlingIncorporated.com for like news and stuff like that. So that's just one of them sources I just go through. So, yeah. And there's other sources too, but I just mainly stick with them for like other stuff. Um, I, but also, we're probably going to talk about um, the the firings that they had, well, the cuts that WWE made, which were I said in another video, I think it was the Survivor Series preview, that you know it sucks. So, um, I know Survivor Series. I got only one right, which is kind of sad, because <laughs> Darby, you would you know can guess on, like I knew overall Raw was gonna um win it, but I thought they would make it at least you know somewhat interesting to say that um that you know SmackDown can we. At least when like you know three and raw can win the rest but they only won two and like i said the the one i got right was the um champion versus champion the universal versus the wwe champion because it was just so predictable on that one just crazy but um let's go ahead and talk about these results of turning point um as y'all can see the results, um, we're gonna um so so they had two matches for countdown to turning point the pre-show. So the first match I missed, I didn't see it of uh, Finn Juice defeating Rasan and Rohit Radu. So could be title contenders again. Who knows? Um Jordan Grace defeated Chelsea Green. Um she successfully defended her title, which I did caught some of that match. So like the middle and the closing moments to that match, because I almost forgot that. It was on, so yeah, silly me. <laughs> uh, so they kicked it off with Chris Saban versus Ace Austin, which Chris Saban did win, and I thought Ace Austin was going to win it, but apparently he did not. So I was wrong on that one. Um, Violent by Design defeated Heath and Rhino, which I was wrong about that one as well. Um, Violent by Design won that one. Um, Rick Swan, I did predict it right that he was going to you know defeat VSK. Um, I was right on the Morrisley defeating Matt Cardona, but from what it's safe about that, that feud is like far from over, especially just, you know, after when I talk about the um, main event. Um, Inspiration defeated Decay to retain the um, tag titles, and I was right about that. Dre Miguel defeated Steve Macklin and Naredo Kid, so I was right about that one, Trey Miguel retaining. Mika James retained, defeating um, Mercedes Martinez. Um, I was right on that one. Um, this one I was wrong about. The Good Brothers defeated um, the Bullet Club. So it's nothing personal, but I think, you know, the Good Brothers need to back away from the tag title for a while because because they had it. They had it for a while, lost it, then, you know, got it back again. I don't know, but I just think they could have been, you know, a little bit better than that with them. Um, at least some, unless somebody knew how the tag titles, because like I said, nothing against the Good Brothers, but I think it's time for them to at least lose those titles. Um, I was right about this one, the Full Metal Mayhem for Impact World title. Um, Moose defeated um, Eddie Edwards, thanks to help to W. Morrisley. Um, probably would have helped more, but um, Matt Cardona came in and with the rescue and ended up, you know, fighting back and forth on Morrisley, so. Yeah, he did give him the finger and say F you <laughs> to Borisley. So, yeah, it's pretty fun <laughs> and funny. So, um, that's it for um, for Mel Mayhem. Um, I think they're gonna have a pay per view next month, but um, don't know what it is yet. But they already promoting Hard to Kill, where they said, um, Mickey James will. Get a rematch against, well, defend the title in the rematch against Dorona Proyazio. So, yeah, she's getting her rematch on that. But right now, oh, mom's home. 
let's see. And now, like with the pay per view, although I was partly, you know, kind of watching it, certain things because like I was just busy with everything else. So yeah, that was just kind of crazy. Yes, you are. Well, not happy. See how it is. I ain't say I wasn't happy. I was wondering what was in the bag. Was it some goodies? Fabric from Aggie's sister. Oh. Oh, well, thought I tried. <laughs> but, um, anyways, uh, let's look at um, last night's uh, paper research series. And, um, and I know why some of y'all probably be wondering, like, why are I'm, I'm doing it this way? And they normally don't do it, you know, as I do it live, because this is pre recorded. Um, I have a game to go to tonight. Um, so, yeah, should be um, interesting watching me, watching me like, talking about it with just getting straight to the point and not like you know dragging things along but um anyways so i thought they were the so what the change they did was with the 25 man uh battle royal with um commemorating the um 25th anniversary of the rock um so i thought that was going to be the pre-show they changed that and they have um intercontinental champion versus u.s champion damian priest um from what it looks like it looks like um that um, it was like SmackDown was not going to, I don't know, I just had a bad feeling that, you know, SmackDown is not going to win any of these matches, but like I said, I only got like I got like all of them wrong except for the main event, but we'll talk about that in a minute. WWE Intercontinental Champion Shinsuke Nakamura defeated um, US Champion Damian Priest by disqualification. Damian Priest bust up the guitar, hit Rick Boobs with it, and also hit Shinsuke with it, which caused him disqualification. So, yeah, he kind of snapped. Uh, they kicked off the show with the... Because there was rumors that, you know, the women's uh, match was going to be the main event, which they changed it and have it kicked off the show. But before we get there, Vince McMahon showed up and showing that um, egg from... Um, they had on that movie red notice. I'm trying to figure out what's the point of them doing that. Oh, this is, I don't know if he was doing that to promote a movie or, but I know they was trying to promote the movie, but what was he doing with it? We don't know. Um, next off, uh, they did the Becky Lynch versus Charlotte. Um, Becky Lynch did win and kind of used Charlotte's um, tricks for for what she did to her and kind of reversed it back on Charlotte. So Becky Lynch did win that match. And I saw on social media, everybody was talking about Becky Lynch's on uh, what she was wearing. So a lot of guys were doing on that. But, uh, Britney Spears wannabe. <laughs> she says Britney Spears wannabe. But um, anyways, uh, Man Survivor Series match. Um, Kevin Owens, um, Wanted to kick off, uh, start the match, but he rolled out and left. So he lost by counted out. So SmackDown kind of had an advantage, but it still didn't work because it went down to was it Seth Rollins and Jeff Hardy. And they're never going to let Jeff Hardy win a, a match like that. Um, yeah. I don't know, but they did all of them just to um, make them be like come down to one, which him and Chambers was kind of a little bit dominating where it was like three on two, but all the distractions that happened and all that. But um, Seth Rollins did, the sole survivor, defeated Jeff Hardy, um, which I think they might have plans for Jeff Hardy. So hopefully, you know, they do something with that. Um, 20 man battle royal, 25 man battle royal, I'm sorry. Um between Raw and SmackDown. So um they was having like, I guess Pizza Hub was the sponsor for that segment. And I just thought the funniest thing is it's like I guess it was it was like during the match, like they um Street Profits run the pizza down and Gave one to um Michael Cole, but Brian Saxon was so happy about though he was getting it. He was like, nope. Gave to Michael Cole and Corey Graves. 
which was kind of funny. Uh, hey, girl. So yeah, that was kind of funny. Um, it was just it was just all almost like dominating and stuff. So like, this was good for him, like to push him up more. But I guess he was hoping it would have been SmackDown, but it came like all of it came down to almost in Ricochet was kind of that's good. They kind of you know pushing him a little bit, but. It wasn't that long after that that he got eliminated by almost. So um it was just a funny segment that you know almost was trying to um, save AJ Styles and Street Profits was trying to pull him. It was just crazy. Then um somebody hit uh, almost from the back and he let go of him. And AJ Styles went through and got eliminated. But um but congrats to almost on that battle royal. And I guess the like couple of matchups I would have saw of like him and Commander RZ, although they, they didn't last very long. He just put them out and looks like Commander Aziz didn't have that much of a chance. And as for um Shanky, they like they matched up. They like, you know, almost the same, nearly the same height. But it wasn't it's was like it was just like all almost. It just wasn't like enough, you know. Shanky didn't do, he don't do a little bit, but didn't do enough. So um, I was kind of disappointed Oh, those two, they could have made them like big guys, at least, you know, you know, brawl a little bit or something like that. Or it could be landed up in like in a double team and that could have happened. But eh, that's just my opinion anyways, but. What more can I say? Anyways, uh, next up was um, Usos versus RK Bro. Um, RK Bro did not need this win. I don't know why they, you know, gave it to him, but they did anyway. And the Usos did, you know, lose. But, like, looking back on it before, like, I'm thinking about it from yesterday, that um, I guess they probably did need this win more than the Usos. But Usos, oh, they're dominating, you know, Raw, like, you know, and plus that, them having a feud with um, New Day. So, yeah, all that just say something. Um, Women's Survivor Series match, I think it came, although that was, like, up to a good start for SmackDown, but it didn't go very well. Um, I think it came down to Bianca Belair and... um. No, Tony Storm got eliminated. Um, what was there? I know Shane Baszler got eliminated. Um, oh yeah, it's between Shadi Blackheart and Bianca Belair. So you thinking, okay, that's good for the newcomers. Like maybe win Survivor Series and all that. But nope, Team Raw won and Team SmackDown lost. And like I said, it was a good pay per view, but it, it was just just didn't go the way I hoped it would and the way that it would, you know, make sense. But then again, you know, SmackDown's killing Raw and Ratings right now. So I guess Raw really need this win. So I just took it that to the fact, but um, guess it just need, I guess it just needed, but um, Roman Reigns and Big E, um, Good match. It was just, it was straight up like one-on-one, nobody interfere or anything like that. So, Woman Reigns did um, defeat Big E and you know what? It was very close. Just the match was like very, very close. Like it could have went either way. So that match, like I said, that match was pretty good. And that's it for the Survivor Series card and who won and all that stuff, but I would say that pay per view was like a B minus. I'll give it a B minus. Pretty decent. Yeah. I only missed the end of it because I was so freaking tired, as you know. Right. But the matches were solid. I wish there had been different winners on some of them. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. But the actual matches themselves, pretty decent. Right. 
Ain't heard from her, so it was a solid um pay per view. And like I said, like I said, I, that's why I just gave it a B because I think some of the um well B minus because I think some the they got some of the wrong winners and plus like only got like two right. Well, one right. I don't know why I'm saying two right because I'm thinking like SmackDown won, or SmackDown lost like four matches. It was a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So kind of like five matches to two. So I don't know what you can say like after that, but yeah, kind of this morning. And the funny thing is like, I was supposed to go to this one, but unfortunately it, the funds wasn't there at the right time, but their next big pay-per-view, the Royal Rumble, I will be there. Cause going with a couple of friends and should be fun. Uh, I guess we can look at some news before I you know sign off and all that good stuff. So, ooh, just gonna look what's Charlotte will take a look at that one. Um, let's see, Vicky reveals who he wants to win the Royal Rumble. Oh, they choose somebody from the SmackDown roster. So, and with Cigar- Cesaro, good statement, but. Like I said, they really need to push Cesaro his opportunity Cesaro to that should win it. So, like I said, yeah, that's a good call. Um, as y'all know, the incident with the um, egg or something, so he called them both Raw and SmackDown rosters to be at Raw tonight, and, and I guess they forgot who stole the egg. So, was this the thing? Like maybe the um, I'll just read this on uh, why The Rock didn't appear at Survivor Series last night. He probably was just to see it anyway. Let's see. Let's see, despite the fact that it was the 25th anniversary of The Rock's debut, Survivor Series, WWE did promote the anniversary heavily in the build at the show itself to be seen. On the latest Wrestling Observe Radio, um, it had been possible for The Rock to appear. The reason why the movie, he's not able to travel due to COVID-19, quantum, he probably won't even be there tonight. Even though The Rock himself would not practice with moments of his past performance at Survivor Series. Yes, showing like WrestleMania and all that, which was cool. Oh, he claimed that the rock that the egg only need to be stolen. So I guess they're gonna figure out who stole. Unfortunately, I won't be able to see it because, like I said, I would be at a game. Um, so let's look at more news. Oh, you have evidence on Instagram that she was broke up. They was broke up in a while, but just never like talk about it. So they still remain friends in yeah, yeah, yeah. Still stupid, but like I said, they were. God, it was it was a few more too that got released. This Jackson Racker was another, and was somebody else too. But like I said on the um, last video that I made, that it's about time that um Jackson Riker got released off, off of that BS that he said about the um about the Joe Floyd thing that the cops did their job and all that stuff and supported the police. So a lot of people got heated on that. So let's see. Um, let's see what's on. Yeah, I do want to read this one. We really, I don't know. If, I don't know if they're gonna make him another crown since Roman Reigns crushed it um, this past Friday, the crown. But who knows? Let's see. He haven't. He said, "I haven't. I really want, and I really, and it, and I want it really bad. I want it to fight, not to the death, but to the nail. Something nasty and gritty. I rest man. I would poop. I mean, I don't want to put my." <laughs> So maybe like a um, sort of faction at WrestleMania, who knows? They might put it on a um, SmackDown TV show. Oh, well, see, but then again, I guess all the best they're going to put him on the Andre the Giant Battle Royal, which, you know, they had, they did had, but, well, they, they now they will have time to, you know, put it in their lineup because it will be on that Saturday or that Sunday. So think about um, SmackDown starting doing, you know, the two day, events with um, WrestleMania. So is it a good thing? Or do you think it take away from you no know, NXT? Because normally they'll have a pay-per-view the day before WrestleMania. So wherever the case may be, but but it will be like crazy and do the SmackDown on Friday, then Saturday, Sunday, WrestleMania, then that Monday. So just comment below what do you think about um WrestleMania week and stuff like that in Dallas. <laughs> um talk to y'all about um it was something i wanted to mention but um hopefully okay 
Andrea Lino on Instagram. They've been together since 2019. In January 2020, they were engaged to be married as Andrade proposed on New Year's Eve. No word, they went some kind of breakup. She's currently following him on Instagram, but not on Twitter. The match, and she had her match, and and I know most of y'all thinking, don't care, which I do understand why uh, you wouldn't care. I think that's it for that. Um, I guess I can talk about a little bit of like what's going on around the. Um, there's like a couple of Mac, uh, shows that's going on. It's on the place of uh, BCW. I guess everybody knows how I feel about BCW, but moving on. So they got a show um together. BCW. Yeah. Armani, that's strap for ten. Don't know what it is. But um, of course, Friday they have um also going on their Legacy Pro Wrestling with special guest Teddy Long. So that should be a good one. Um I think there ain't that many um shows that's going on after that for the rest of November because um like Thanksgiving holidays and stuff like that. So I think it was just those that's going on. But if it is, um, check out wrestling fans speak out we believe.com. Um, all the events and stuff will be you know mentioned on there. Um, you know what? Since I got a little time, I can do that right now. Don't look at it just kind of being weird for how it is compared to how you know fix it online. So, oh yeah, AEW is on uh, Wednesday in Chicago too. So, let's see SCW down in Illinois. Zoa in Illinois as well. Uh, yep, on Legacy Pro Wrestling. Let's see what else is going on. Oh, yeah, the Windy Classic. Um, AAW is going on Friday down in Chicago. Um, oh, yeah, JWA, I'm sorry. Janeville Wrestling um, Alliance. They got a um, Thanksgiving throwdown on Wednesday. So the rest of these are, that one's like in Minnesota. And this one, like November 28th, that's in Michigan. So that's pretty much it. Just not that many um, shows on the weekend, but like Wednesday and Friday, of course, there are shows there. But like Saturday and Sunday, like in um, like Illinois, Wisconsin area, nothing much. So I guess everybody can enjoy their Thanksgiving weekend and, you know, so we're gonna go to meet and greets before we um end this right here. Um let's see, of course, so you about the Taylor Long then um ACW having a show in Oscars. Um of course Blizzard Brawl with you know a lot of they got like a, a lot of stars going on. So there's some of them they that's not mentioned on here because like not saying that some of them is worth mentioning, but it's just like that's why I got the end more. Because for the like first time in a long time, it's like too many to mention. <laughs> uh, and there's a show in Green Bay on the 11th. Jeff Hardy's having a meet and greet on uh, Thursday, December 16th. And um, tickets are still on sale for that. But that's not the only place he's going to be on Thursday. I think Friday he's going to be in Rosemount. They got like a different um, location on that. So that probably would be after, I think it's before SmackDown. I'm not sure, but um, the um, then he's on Rockford on that Saturday, the um, 18th. Um, like, um, although we don't have a lot of information on that, but if you look at um, WFSO Midwest, it would be on there if you look at like events for wfso midwest it will be on there so get a chance you know check that out um and in augusta wisconsin um they did have um mr anderson for that one but they changed it and carlito is going to be there and of course former wwe star eugene and as you see marcia rocky from nwa and aw stars shana read and more of course so um that's it for that um 
we will have put some stuff on here for like January within um next week. So probably after you know this is going, we're going to like set up for like stuff that we know so far that you know that guest is going to do meet and greets in January. But um, that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, check out the website; it's up there, and for like news, events, and stuff like that. Um, also like this video, give it a like, and of course make make some comments below on what you think about, you know, the, how the two night pay-per-views at WrestleMania is, is a good thing or a bad thing. Just let me know. I can talk about it on next week's show because we will be live next week for that. But um, until the next video, y'all have a good one and see y'all next time.